Welcome back to Blue Pit Customs, Street Kills Video Chronicles. I always mess that up. Street Kills. Street Kills Video Chronicles. Uh, LS Cylinder Head Identification. What we have here, we're going we're gonna to weigh these valves just to show you the difference between the LS3. And by the way, I have L92 valves. I have weighed them. They're like, uh, they're like 125 or 130 grams. So they're pretty heavy. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take, this is... Uh, a 197 or 190, I don't remember, uh, 5348 truck cylinder head valve. We're going to weigh this valve. This valve weighs, and if you can't see it, you're going to have to trust me on that. This valve weighs 90 grams. Okay? This is the smallest of our valves. We're going to move to the 2 inch LS1. Uh, this is not a hollow stem valve, this is standard. 2 inch LS1 intake valve. We're going to set it on the scale. That valve weighs 100 grams. We're going to take that off. We're going to go to a race inspired uh, rev cylinder head valve. This is a lightened valve. It's uh, stainless steel, you know, nice back cut, good swirl. It's actually only uh, one angle, which is kind of funny because it's race driven. The LS3 is actually three angle, like I showed you. We're going to put this on the scale. This guy's popping out at 110 grams, okay? which is what you'd expect. It's a little bit bigger valve. This is a 208 intake valve, by the way. It is a little bit bigger than the 2-inch. Then we're going to go to the LS3, 2165. Big boy, okay? LS3, hollow stem titanium. Big daddy. This one should easily, easily outweigh all of these valves. Even though it's hollow stem enlightened, it should outweigh all of these valves. This bad boy weighs 90 grams. It weighs as much as a 190 5.3 liter valve. So if you want, uh, if you want your high performance uh, LS3 L92 cylinder heads, if you want to rev them, this is the ticket right here. The, these will rev huge. If you look at that, it's 90 grams. Okay, I'm going to show you guys something. 90 grams. Stay on the scale. I'm going to grab an exhaust valve out of the LS3 cylinder head. This is a sodium filled valve. The exhaust valve weighs approximately, oh, you guessed it, 90, 90 grams. So what does that tell you? When your springs are flowing, everything's going, you have the same amount of head, uh, spring pressure and head pressure to open the valves. Think about it. These are equal. That's awesome. The intake valve's not heavier than the exhaust valve. It's not beefier. You're gonna flow some air with the three angle back cut. This is your choice, guys, right here. These are the, I can get you these valve kits with just these valves. I don't know the price right offhand. I'm not trying to sell anything on this video, but just to let you know, email me if you want the part number. You can buy them yourself, okay? These valves right here, how do I put it? I mean, to be honest with you guys, you know, you got Rev, you got Ferrera, you got Manly, you got all the different valve manufacturers. They have some money. They don't have factory money, guys. When the factory decides to make something race, always go factory. These heads are, these valves are the same valves found in the, uh, the LS9 cylinder head. These valves right here are, they're impressive. I mean, they're super impressive. I mean, you got a factory valve here that they're gonna give you a warranty for 100,000 miles on, that straight race, three angle back cut, you know, and they're, they're, they're a little bit pricey. They're no, not much more than this, uh, than this race valve, okay? This race, race valve has, you know, it has R&D in it, has some money invested in the design, but like I said, you got factory money right here. Factory money's where it's at, okay? These guys make some some badass shit, all right? You know, LS7, ZR1, uh, the LS9, you, you got all the motors that they make that they warranty for 100,000 miles, and these engines are kicking out 600 plus horsepower. So whenever you can, go factory backed. If you're gonna run the, the L92 heads, I recommend you run boost in them. Run them with boost where your RPM range is below, you know, 5,500 RPM and you'll live all day. A lot of people will swear, you know, oh, I don't have any problems. But I'll tell you what, if you're gonna tell me that your engine's running more efficiently with an L92 cylinder head versus an L93, you're, you're lying to me and you're lying to yourself, okay? If you have a choice. I have a lot of customers telling me, oh, well, I'm gonna run the L92 heads and I'm like, well, where, where's your RPM gonna live at? And they're like, oh, 6,200, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is a freeway car. I try to steer them away, man. Or at least get that LS3 uh, valve or LS9 valve upgrade kit. Uh, email me for the part number. I'll get it to you. It's GM Stocksum. They're readily available. Um, 
if you get them through me, you'll probably get them cheaper because we don't mark up our parts, you know, as far as their wholesale to the public, as far as uh, components like that. Um, other than that, guys, I, I think I touched, I touched on every every base I can touch on, guys. Uh, if I for, if I forgot anything or left anything out, please let me know. But that's the distinguishing factors between each head. Um, that should wrap up uh, LS head identification. Thanks, guys. Tune in for our next video.